at 6. And good evening. Thanks for joining us at 6. First tonight, the family of a windsurfer who died on Lake Mendota is taking legal action in hopes of learning more about the circumstances surrounding his death. 43-year-old Yu Chen was hit and killed after colliding with a UW life-saving boat nearly two weeks ago. Our Keely Arthur spoke to the attorneys representing the family and joins us from Lake Mendota with the latest. Keely. We know that Chen was teaching a windsurfing class out here on Lake Mendota when he and a UW life-saving boat collided. But what we don't know is how a group of people so knowledgeable about this water ended up in this tragedy. He's a very, very, very high skilled windsurfer. So skilled and in love with the sport that Yu Chen created a video seen here for the UW Madison Chinese Students and Scholars Association to help get more of them out on the water. That passion turned into tragedy on May 31st when Chen, who was teaching a class for hoofers, died after colliding with the UW life saving boat's propeller, slicing his neck and severing his arm. Lots of people depressed. 13 days later, his friends and family want answers. However, information is very limited. Somebody doesn't get tangled up in a propeller instantly. Chen's mother has now hired Milwaukee attorney Jay Urban. And so they were being told very, very little about what happened and the circumstances of what happened. And if anybody who boats knows that something like this should never, ever, ever happen. Urban will file a motion in Dane County Court asking a judge to compel the university, DNR, and the Dane County Sheriff's Department to provide what he calls critical information. They didn't give us an opportunity to inspect the boat. They didn't tell us the speed. They didn't tell us who was operating the boat when. Both the University of Wisconsin and Sheriff's Department declined to comment on the case, but those close to Chen are begging for some closure. And also hope that we can know the details and we, we can know what we can do to prevent these things happening in the future. Now, a big piece of information that is still missing is a GPS tracker that Chen wore on his left arm. That arm was severed during the accident and has yet to be recovered. Eric and Charlotte. Keely Arthur reporting live from downtown Madison tonight. Keely, thank you.